If you've been playing guitar for a while and wonder why you're not improving as much as you thought you would or you wish you could, you might be making one, two, or all of the mistakes in this video. No worry though, I'm gonna show you how to fix all of them. And also I realize that this list could be virtually infinite. So if you would like to comment below, I love to hear about the most annoying mistakes you make as you practice and you know you're making them, but you can't quite shake them. And I'm sure this will give us plenty of ideas for future videos. Let's begin. The number one mistake all guitarists make, and we all know it, we all do it, and we just don't wanna talk about it, is we play too fast. I think guitarists are genetically wired to squeeze every single note out of each second and out of each beat, and it's a very noble cause, but it doesn't really help as you're trying to become a better musician and a better guitarist. And it's just a vicious circle of sloppiness that it's really hard to break away from, and it's a very common problem among students, and uh, it's simply not fixed by just playing slower. Everybody's like, well, just play slower. Well, if you're far enough into the problem, just playing slower doesn't work. We kind of have to approach speed in a different way. So here's how I would fix it. Take any concert you're working on and bring it down to 60 BPM and only play one note per beat. So of course, playing slow is part of the solution, but you'll be amazed by how many mistakes you'll make while basically playing one note per second. Maybe even more mistakes than you were making when you were going faster. And that means that speed is really not the issue. The issue here is sloppiness, and we've transcended speed by getting used to simply playing poorly. So bring it down to 60 BPM, and take anything you're practicing, let's say I'm doing this very simple arpeggio, play it at 60 BPM, but play it perfect. 100% of the time it has to be perfect. Once you get there and it will take you longer than you think it should, don't worry about it. You're doing fine as long as you're always playing it 100% perfect, then bring it up to 70. Do the same thing. Then 80, you feel like you're going backwards, it doesn't matter, keep at it, 80, 90, 100. Once you go high enough with tempo, you might wanna bring it back down again and use subdivisions just to keep it manageable. You can do eight notes, right? You can do triplets, like that. It depends on what you're playing, but the idea here is always quality first, and don't even think about speed. Don't even think about what metronome setting you have. It doesn't matter, always play, Perfect, bring it up a little bit, play perfect, and so on. Problem number two is sometimes related to number one, but not always dependent on it, and it's very simple. We just let too many mistakes and too much sloppiness go by unfixed. Maybe you're playing a song, you're working on a scale, or you're improvising, you screw up, and instead of fixing it right there, you think, well, next time around, I'll do it better. And then next time around comes, and you don't even remember what the mistake was, and eventually, again, you get used to playing worse than you should. How do we fix it? Very simple. We just make the concept smaller. Let's say I'm working on a scale. Instead of worrying about the whole fretboard and all the keys, I'm just going to focus on two strings, maybe, or one octave. So if I'm playing this scale here, and I screw up on this note, instead of having to go back five minutes, and you know, I'll be lazy about that. Now I only have to go back five notes and just make sure that the fifth note now is perfect. And then I can go on, I screw up again. Again, I only have to go back seven notes. I do it long enough, again, more than you think you would, but eventually you get used to always playing right. And here's a trick I used when I was practicing a lot. I would do 10 repetitions, 100% perfect. It's worse than it sounds because sometimes you're at the ninth and you scrub the last note and you have to start over. But 10 repetitions of playing something perfectly, then you can add to it, you know, right? You add a few more strings, you add one more octave, you, you add one more position, one more key, whatever it is you're trying to expand upon. Problem number three is also often related to playing too fast, and it's very simple. We just have too much tension in our bodies as we play. Not only in the fingers and wrists, but also the shoulder, the back, the neck, and uh, it's something that creeps in through the years, so you might not notice it, but then it can be problematic, especially as we get older, you can get back pains, you can get tendinitis, and other very serious issues. So to try and fix it, I'm gonna demonstrate a little experiment for you. I'm gonna wait until you get your guitar so we can do it together. Okay, so now play any note you want with any finger, anywhere on the neck, just make sure you play close to the fret, right? Play a note. And then as you keep playing it with your right hand, start releasing the pressure from the finger until you mute the string, right? You, you lose the note. Now, lightly as a feather, 
bring back the pressure little by little until you get the note back. Stop there. This is all the pressure you need to play the guitar. And I'm sure for a lot of you, this is way more pressure than you would normally use. So all that energy is wasted and then it kind of creeps into your body. And that's one way to fix it. Another great thing you can do is to start breathing as you play, which sounds incredible, but a lot of us hold our breath as we play the guitar. So pick something very simple, you already know how to play, can be anything, let's play C major, right? And simply take deep breaths as you play. The hardest thing is uncoupling the breathing with the fingers. That's why I'm saying just use something you already know how to play and breathe deep. And finally, one more thing you can do is play a, again, let's use C major, you can play anything you want, play a note and relax. Your whole body, your elbow, let it drop, your wrist, your back, your shoulders, play another note. If you notice any tension creep in, stop for a second, breathe out, let all the tension go, play another note. Can you feel the tension creeping in? Well, you do the same thing. Eventually you'll be able to play two notes without tension, then three, then four, and then being relaxed will be your regular way of playing the guitar, which is what we're going for. Mistake number four for a lot of us is we simply don't play enough chords. You know, guitarists tend to revolve around technique and scales and improvisation and jamming, but really chords are the essence of music. They encapsulate so many wide concepts. You can get the feel of a whole scale with a single strum. You know, they teach you about composition, about the emotions of music, all right there in one single stroke. And uh, besides, some of them are so beautiful, you just want to eat them. So how do we fix it? Well, very simple, dedicate a few few minutes every day to learn some chords. Uh, a few years back, maybe two years ago, I made a whole series called One Chord a Week. I will link it up here and down below if you want to check that out. Otherwise, you know, there's books, there's all kinds of resources for learning chords. Learn their formula, learn why they sound the way they sound, form your own opinion on their sound and also on what scales you like most with them. You know, make sure chords are an integral part of your playing. And there you have four mistakes you can start working on today. I know there's many more, but these will really get you going. So if you do what we said in the video, I can guarantee you some great results. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and especially comment. You know how fond I am of your comments. I find them extremely inspiring and encouraging and supportive. You might have noticed we haven't talked about the importance of how much time we spend with the guitar because I think that's sometimes out of our hands, how much time we can dedicate to the instrument. But if you're trying to make the most out of the time you got, this video is extremely useful. So I suggest you watch it. And if you only got a minute, I got you covered too with this other video. Thanks again for being there and I'll see you very soon. Bye bye.